is another one. Miss Brick the Builder's Baby. This is the house that Mr. and Mrs. Brick built. This is the baby that lives in the house that Mr. and Mrs. Brick built. This is the story of that baby. Mr. and Mrs. Brick were builders. They had been builders all their lives. Their mothers and fathers had been builders. Their grandmothers and grandfathers had been builders. They had been builders in the Brick family for years and years and years. <coughs> so when baby Brick was born, Mr. and Mrs. Brick were very happy. Now we have another builder in the family, they said. But did they really have another builder in the family? No, they did not. Mrs. Brick, Mr. Brick was a builder, Mrs. Brick was a builder, Baby Brick was not a builder. Because this is the house that Baby Brick knocked down! And this, and this! These are the oranges in the shop she knocked down, and the cabbages, and the tins of beans! And these are the babies at the baby show she knocked down. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Brick were worried. They put baby Brick in their carry cot and they went down the road to see Auntie Brick. <coughs> they went... Our baby does not build, said Mr. Brick. She knocks things down, Mrs. Brick said. Auntie stopped work and put her glasses on. She looked at the baby. What this baby needs is a pet, she said. It will take her mind off knocking things down. So the next day, Mr. and Mrs. Brick bought a dog and built a dog kennel. And was that the answer? No, it was not. Baby Brick loved the dog, <coughs> but knocked the dog kennel down. Mr. and Mrs. Brick bought two rabbits and built a rabbit hutch. Baby Brick knocked the rabbit hutch down. They bought four chickens and built a chicken house, and guess what? Baby Brick knocked the chicken house down. Now Mr. and Mrs. Brick were more worried. They put Baby Brick in a pram, and they got on a bus and went to another town to see Grandma Brick. Our baby knocks things down, said Mrs. Brick. She does not build a single thing, Mr. Brick said. Grandma stopped work and made a pot of tea. She looked at the baby. What this baby needs is a bit of fun. It would, she said. It will take her mind off knocking things down. So the next week, Mr. and Mrs. Brick had a party for Baby Brick. And was that the answer? No, it was not. This is the trifle and the J, the cake. That Baby Brick knocked down. Yikes. The Mr. and Mrs. Brick took Baby Brick to the seaside. <coughs> this is the sandcastle that Baby Brick knocked down. And they took Baby Brick to the fair. And these are the prizes that Baby Brick won. But still Mrs. Drew and Mrs. Brick were worried. They could not do their work. They got things wrong with the houses they'd built. Look at them. <laughs> that doesn't other them don't even look right, do they? At last, Mr. and Mrs. Brick put Baby Brick in their push chair. They got on a bus. They went on a train. They sailed on a ship, and they rode on a camel, and went to see Great Uncle Brick. Great Uncle Brick was the most famous builder in the Brick family. He built houses all over the world. Our baby does not build, said Mr Brick. She just knocks things down, Mrs Brick said. <coughs> Great Uncle stopped work, and took his hat off. Then he looked at the baby, and then he looked at Mr and Mrs Brick. What this baby needs is a little brother, he said. It will take her mind off knocking things down. So the next year, Mr and Mrs Brick had another baby. And was that the answer? Yes, it was. This is the house that Baby Brick built for the new Baby Brick. And this, and this. And after that, Mr and Mrs Brick were very happy. Now we do have another worry builder in the family. They said, all our worries are over. But were all their worries really over? No, they were not. Because this is the house that the new baby brick... Wait for it... Knocked down! <laughs> Here we go again.